you guys. All these fennec foxes. Those big giant ears, the little tail. Look at how they pull their ears back while they run. Oh, and the way that their two little front paws just kind of create a little arrow as they dash from side to side. They are so freaking cute. No wonder all of our guests really want to be able to see them and to learn a little bit more about them. Ah, but hello everyone and welcome. Welcome back. Oh no, to some very, very stressed out fennec foxes. Sharon, I don't want you to be stressed out. Hopefully we'll be able to get those new barricades so that we can make a glass, like a one-way glass barricade so that Sharon feels like she has a little bit of privacy. All right, I think she's looking for some privacy right now. All right, well, welcome back to a beautiful desert night, my friends, here in our El Nabar Bazaar Oasis, where meerkats are plentiful, the water is finally starting to be nice and clean, and hopefully we're getting some of the research done that we need in order to make Sharon feel a little happier. But all right, so let's see, where were we last time? Let's check in on the objectives and the challenges. We do need to have at least four different exhibit species, that's right! And a yearly souvenir profit of two or twelve, yeah, two thousand dollars, and a yearly drink profit of five thousand dollars. You know what? And we also need to work on having at least nine different habitat species. I think today we might work on trying to take good care of the finnick foxes by getting that barricade made so that we can have better barricades for the finnick foxes. And uh, let's give everybody some drinks because I think they're going to be pretty thirsty. In fact, where are all of the places that our, our guest could possibly go ahead and get drinks? Wait, why is Ren preventing another finnick fox from breeding? Ren, don't you want to have some babies? Hmm, let's see. I mean, he's bonded and his mate is Sharon, but apparently he doesn't want to have any babies with her. Maybe it's because he's stressed out. <gasps> stressed out Finnick Fox baby! Like, they can't have babies if they're stressed out! Oh my goodness! Okay, so we're gonna try to fix that situation so that we can go ahead and have some cute Finnick Fox babies. Uh, speaking of the Finnick Foxes, let's also make it so people can go ahead and learn more about them by snagging this amazing scenery selection! Come here, you! Alright, we're gonna move this over here. And then rotate it in front of the Finnick Foxes. And swap it over so that it will tell people about said Finnick Fox facts. And I think we've unlocked a few facts about them, so hopefully people will really be able to educate themselves. Um, and let's see, where are all of the places people could possibly get some drinks? We have one shop for drinks in the middle of the desert?! That, that's obviously not going to work. We really need to work on that so that people won't die of dehydration. Oh my gosh, how are any of you people still on your feet? I would have passed out by now. Like, can we sell water bottles? All right, let's see if we can go ahead and like maybe get our guests some water bottles or something. Uh, blueprints off. All right, we can get gulpy sodas. That's about it for now, right now. All right, let's show blueprints. I wish you could go ahead and like filter things. Can I actually make a filter? Create new tag. Huh. Enter a filter name. Um, unlocked. And then... Okay, that's interesting. So I might work on trying to... I wish there was a tag where if you've already unlocked things, you could go ahead and see those blueprints. Blueprints only. No, that's just favorites. Doesn't that sound good though, guys? If you could like sort these by things that you could already put down because you already have unlocked all of the features. That is definitely a quality of life thing that I hope they add in in the future. All right, let's see. It doesn't look like we've unlocked anything for the drinks other than the small Asian shop. So blueprints off. All right, see, and here's a bunch of people. They're probably really thirsty. Here, we'll start with this. At the very least, we can put down some vending machines in a few areas. So we'll, we'll throw down some vending machines in populated spots. Let's see, a vending machine. It's not the, the prettiest thing in the world, but I have a feeling that people are going to be pretty excited about it. I know I would be. Uh, let's see. And vending machines kind of feel like something you should sort of stumble upon in a dark alley. Alright, let's see. I mean, that actually sounded a lot more threatening than I meant. <laughs> Maybe you are not the type of person who wants to just stumble upon a vending machine in a dark alley, but you guys know what I mean. Like, you'd want to find a little bit of water you could actually drink, even when 
you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. All right. And then until we unlock more ways to provide people with more food and water, we'll put a vending machine right over here too. All right, now we'll see if people actually will start using those. All right, so that's done. What do we have going on here? <gasps> research complete! Barriers, barriers, barriers! Ooh, okay, yes! We have research complete on one of the drink shops and we have research complete on one of the barriers. Is it the barrier type we need? Let's see, no. We have now unlocked an electric barrier. That's useful, but we need to keep going. Come along. Sandcastle Builder Rebecca, Raft Builder Raf. We really need to work on hopefully unlocking more barriers. So where is Rebecca? Let's actually go Sandcastle Builder Rebecca. We're gonna make her like an expert if we can, and we'll train up Raft Builder. And Solar Photographer Ruben definitely needs some help. So Animal Welfare has attracted protesters. I'm sorry, I'm trying to work on my stressed out fitting foxes. Here, um, what else could I put down? that might help out our fennec foxes. Let's draw more people away. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, is this building empty? It is, it's just a really cute building. So let's actually put in one of the exhibit animals. What can we get? <gasps> giant tiger land snails. Okay, those sound adorable. So we can have giant tiger land snails. We can have goliath beetles. We can have goliath frogs. Since this is a timed scenario, we're limited to just a few different species. We can't use all of the species that you can get in Planet Zoo. Puff adders, which are terrifying. <gasps> the sacred scarab beetle! Oh my goodness! Okay, I do want to get the sacred scarab beetle going. That's actually a good idea. Alright, let's put down a little spot for the sacred scarab beetle. Let's do any... Do they have... Here's the African exhibit for... The other style is there. <gasps> there is a beautiful North African exhibit style that we could put down. Potentially, oh good, and we can build out here if we need to for the sacred scarab beetle. So let's see if we can draw people away from our little finnick foxes so that they're not stressed out. And they can come and visit with the sacred scarab beetle, which actually might go really well right here now that I think about it. Yeah, that actually looks really nice. Okay, so we'll put this over here. We might even be able to put in something into this little building for guests, like a restroom. I don't even know if we have restrooms. And ever since the very first episodes of our, um, of our Zoo Tycoon 2 adventures all those years ago, we've always been very big on making sure to remember that the guest bladders are one of the most important aspects of running a zoo. Also, let's see. Here, here, here. There we go. Can I just make a kind of interesting bathroom like this? All right, we'd have to pull it forward just a little. We would, but that actually works out pretty well for just like sticking a guest bathroom right here. I almost want to put like some vines or something to sort of cover it up. Yes, vines in a freaking desert. Come on, it's me. I love, I love plants. All right, and then let's come over. We might give people more things to drink over here. We now have slushies that we could offer people. So maybe we'll put, ooh, we could put a little slushy shop over here. I like this idea. Let's see if I can sneak this in to the oasis just like so. All right, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more almost. I think. Oh, the door is like literally in the way here. All right, what if I just kept going? Oh, there's a building in here. Oh, I didn't know that there was a building over there. All right, so I don't think I can sneak the slushy shop in and make it look as nice as I wanted, unfortunately, but I can totally sneak in a couple more vending machines. You just have to do what you have to do sometimes. Here, we'll just put a couple of vending machines down here for people to go ahead and use. They're gonna need like a place to put down their trash, of course. Oh, and look at the cute little bin. Oh, it's adorable. It's so different from a bunch of the other bins we've had. Oh, and yes, I am that obsessed with like cute little bins. Come on, it, it helps to keep the whole place nice and tidy. And I wonder if we can put down like a couple benches. So if people just wanted to like catch their breath for a second, maybe. Where would be a good place to do that? Maybe over here? Oh, this is in the shade. 
if I was gonna rest, I would want to like chill in the shade. So can I put this bench? Oh, here we go. Bench over here. Man, I love this. And then a bench right here. So we'll see if people use that. People are already coming over for more food. And then let's come over and put in the sacred scarab beetle. It's about time we started having some other exhibit species. All right. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's a customs seizure claim on a sacred scarab beetle female. And here's a male from a private zoo. Let's go ahead, go into our trade center. We're gonna go ahead and select both of them. Come here, you two. And we're gonna put them right there. Yay! All right, we've got them, you guys. What we're gonna give them, I have no idea. All right, this is going to be the sacred scarab beetle um, garden, I suppose. It looks like a little sand garden. All right, let's take good care of them. We're gonna make it more humid and we're going to decrease the temperature to more of their ideal range, which seems to be the upper 80s. And then we're going to get a little more of their humidity going. A little more. There we go. Can, I can't add anything to their layout just yet. Um, and we're going to have to go ahead and give these sacred scarab beetles some names. Oh, look, people are already coming to check them out. Yes, hello, everyone. Hello. These are sacred scarab beetles. I think they're amazing. Did you guys know that female sacred scarab beetles only lay six eggs over their lifetime? Like, that's the average, at least. Some get to lay more, some get to lay less. But I thought all insects just bred, like, pretty much nonstop. You know what I mean? And, ooh, a vista point. We'll have to work with that in the future. But I kind of took for granted the idea that all of the, um, that all of the insects in the world could have as many babies as they wanted and laid a bazillion eggs. And that's absolutely not true. Not true at all, because the sacred scarab beetle only gets to have an average of six babies. How on earth do they keep this species going? Like, doesn't everything eat insects? I'm pretty sure our meerkats would be overjoyed to go ahead and work on decreasing the population, personally. All right, we're starting to get a lot of people over here. So does that meet one of the challenge criteria? It sure does have at least four different exhibit species in the zoo. We are definitely going to be able to pull that off at least. There's constant power cuts, but with the new research we've done, it seems... Uh-oh. Facility is without power. Oh man! <laughs> you know, literally as I was trying to say, with the constant research we've done, we've been able to prevent power outages. Yeah, and then that happened. How rude. Alright, well, we'll add in another solar power right back here. Maybe curve it a little so it's lined up with the building. There we go. All right, hopefully that'll help. Now, what else is going on? The sacred scary beetle has no keeper assigned to it. Yes, we do need to fix that. So let's go. Oh, there's so much litter over here. Look, I know I haven't been giving you guys enough trash cans, but seriously, really? You gotta be like that, guys. You gotta be like that. All right. Time to go ahead and add in a new keeper. And this is actually going to be Shelby. So Shelby, we're gonna actually have Shelby be a, a hieroglyph translator. Because I think that sounds amazing. And she spends a lot of her time studying different types of hieroglyphs or different types of pictograph art or, or writing and art from around the world and just happens to be staying over at the oasis for a bit. We're going to have her training go up. She's not assigned to any work zones right now, but I think we'll put her on Finnick Fox Secrets and then let's change Finnick Fox Secrets. Oh my. To include all this new stuff. There we go. Like all of these things so that hopefully people will take good care of every everybody and everything. Uh, yay! Oh my gosh, look! We have the best cleaner coming along! This is actually supposed to be... Um, candy... We're just gonna rename him to Candy Recycler. Stray. Stray, I'm sorry I didn't name you properly. I named a guest after you earlier, but I know that was supposed to be you and you're doing a great job. All right, look at this. We're really starting to see a little bit of action over here. All right, we need a research center. Ren is still stressed out. <gasps> Mechanic research is complete. 
Come on, guys. Yes! We're getting closer and closer to the barriers so that the fennec foxes... The fennec foxes don't have to be stressed anymore! This is not a drill! The fennec foxes no longer need to be stressed anymore! Alright, give me just a second. Alright, all of these. One-way glass. And now we just need to go ahead and make sure the glass is facing the right side. And then this one needs to face this side. <gasps> there we go! So let's see if they feel stressed out now. No, look at that! Rin is finally feeling less stressed! Huzzah! Alright, that makes me feel much, 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 much better about our fennec foxes. So much better. Look at that! Oh, they were just very, very shy and didn't want, like, a ton of people around them. You know what? Let's celebrate our fennec foxes with actually adding in a research center. Because why not? Let's see if there's a cool research center we can put down. And then maybe we'll have a researcher just kind of perched right over here. Is there anything in this building? Ooh, there's nothing in that building! Nice! I really love these sets so much. I'm going to save these and use them to build villages all around Suhulis and Safari. It's totally going to happen. Alright, so let's actually have... I kind of want a new employee. How's our vet? Our vet actually seems to be doing pretty okay, the rhinology vet Gabe. So I think we might have him... Let's train all of our keepers up while we're at it, by the way. So I think what I might do is I might have Rhinoology Vet Gabe actually stay over by the rhinos and maybe do rhino research over there. And instead, let's hire an educator down here for the little fennec foxes. And hopefully we'll be able to teach people a ton about them and they'll improve like donations. I want educators for all of these guys, but I'm just really happy the fennec foxes are finally going to be happy. All right, so let's see. I need to get... We're gonna want... Ooh, I wonder if I could put some cute benches down over here. There is the North African Park bench. Is there anywhere where people could go ahead and rest? They've already got some benches over there they can rest on. Maybe a couple over here? Maybe, maybe, maybe? Alright, anybody want to just like take a, take, a, take a load off? Sit down for a second at this very, very busy intersection? That sounds like a bad idea, but why not? Um, and then we need an educator spot. Here we go. Media and devices. <gasps> Speaking of which, we need to add in the webcams. Oh my gosh, I haven't done that yet. And I totally want to. The projection screens are finally here. TV screens are finally here. Oh, we're going to have to use these for sure. How on earth am I going to use them? I have no idea. I have to see how they can be incorporated into everything. Oh, that's so exciting. And here's like the vista point to try to convince people to look around at pretty things. We'll have to pick out a vista point in the near future too. For now though, oh, cool little webcam, cool little webcam. Let's grab an animal talking point. And where can I put this? We gotta put it near the, we actually have to put it near the animal please. Oh, here we go. Up along. Do we have any spot that's, okay, we kind of have a spot over here. Maybe, you know what, maybe over here is actually best for- Oh, look at the cute little light on the animal talking point. I never noticed that before. So we're gonna put that there, and we're gonna assign it to the fennec fox. Yes! And we can throw food into the fennec foxes from here. Huzzah! And then let's get ourselves an educator over here. Heck! Look at the crowd! Very bad crowd management here, but that's okay. Alright. And then we're actually gonna have, here in the dark, where you can't see anything, Dragon! So this is actually Dragon Patton. And Dragon, we're gonna have you come over and you're going to be, ooh, how about we call you the Star Story Weaver? I like that idea. Dragon. And he tells stories about the myths and the legends and the lore behind all of the creatures who live here. Ooh, Flower's expecting more babies, yay! All right, and we're gonna come over. Talking point is open. And we're going to assign the talking point, how about to August, September, October, let's do November. And then we're going to do some music. We're going to have the Africa playlist playing. Ooh, and we can add our own custom music, that's so cool. We can have the little, like, Siri music soundtrack that we have. There we go, edit work zone. Add it into that. 
There we go. Phew, okay, I'm feeling pretty good about like a lot of this actually. We'll add these in to make sure they get maintenance. And speaking of maintenance, we probably need to hire like another maintenance person. There's high amounts of litter. So apparently we actually need to manage the litter first. And that may help improve things quite a bit. Oh, look at this. Oh no, look at this. Bah! Okay, well, <laughs> one step forward, or two steps forward, one step back, but we're making some progress, you guys. We finally have managed to get another habitat, or another exhibit species. We're kind of working on getting the animal welfare up. We probably need to do a little bit more all research. Okay, that'll be the last thing we do for today. Oh dear, the litter is really, truly a problem. But that'll be the last thing we do for today, is we'll pop over to the rhino zone. And can I sneak a research building into any of these spots? I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, actually I can, I think. Can I put it there? I can, okay, you know what? If I can just like sneak a research building in there, I'm gonna do it. And there we go. All right, we're just not gonna worry about that whatsoever. Uh, and now we can go ahead and have Rhinology Vet Gabe go ahead and do a little bit of vet research on the other animals. So let's actually start with, oh, we're so close to the meerkat. Uh, we don't have anything on the sacred scarab beetle. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. All right, let's finish the meerkats first. <laughs> but all right, guys, there we go. Ren, why are you stressed again? Little friend! Okay, let's raise the fencing, and then I bet Ren won't be stressed anymore. Alright, we're just gonna casually... Swoop. There. I'm sure, I'm sure that'll make everything fine now. And then, is that gonna be better for you, little friend? Do you feel more at peace with life as the sun rises on a new day? Not really. But you know what? Maybe we can train the guest to be quiet. <laughs> so maybe this is a sign that we need to go ahead and we need to tell the guest to quiet down. All right, one last thing then, so I don't forget that before next time. Where, where? Guest facilities, where's the thing where I tell guest? Sit down, be quiet. Shh, do not disturb. Shh, you guys all need to just like hush it. You're too loud. Quiet, quiet. And there we go. Quiet. All right, that should definitely help out. Hopefully. Oh, my flower's about to have more babies. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. She's not afraid at all. She's just like, yeah. What do you guys want? Hmm? I see you. I see you. But all right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our very, very all new babies. Our shy little finnick foxes and our adorable new baby meerkats. <laughs> Flower, good job. They're so cute. Oh, I love this. Three new babies added into our meerkat clan. Oh boy, I hope we can keep up with all of them. But all right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Do please leave a like for the tiny new babies. And if you would like to go ahead and join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, look at those little toesies.